Hey guys, Robbie Robot here back again with another one. This is going to be a quick uh, update video on how to uh, update Aurora. Uh, this is specifically uh, dealing with the, um, the latest update of Aurora. Uh, I believe it's Aurora 0.7B R1622. Uh, that is the new Aurora Dasper version. As you can see, it just prompted me uh, to update Aurora. Uh, when you get that prompt, um, what you'll need to do is press the start button on your Xbox 360 controller and go down to about. And if you go over, you can download the latest update there. So we'll go ahead and let it download. And uh, this will give you an idea of just how long the whole uh, install process is from start to finish on uh, updating the dashboard. So basically you're updating the dashboard uh, as you can see at the top under version you have the binaries of 0.7 B R 1622 um, and I think I said that we were updating to 06, uh, to 1622. We're actually updating to 1655. So you can see the available update is 0.7B, but it is R1655. Um, apparently they don't have any skin updates. As you can see the skin, well the skin really and the plugin updates are both saying, um, that 1622 is the most recent version. So no updates available for that. So this is going to be a programming update. Uh, it's under binaries rather than the skin or plugin update. Um, I tried to get some information on the update as to uh, like a change log or something like that, but I was unsuccessful. But now that I'm have my 360 booted up, I may be able to just go in through the menus and um, get a website or something that I can go directly to to maybe get, you know, a, some change log information to see, you know, what in fact was changed, improved. I'm sure it's probably some type of stability improvement. Let's hope it doesn't brick my Xbox or anything like that, knock on wood. Uh, but I was noticing uh, online there weren't any videos out here on how you would do this. And for some folks, they might not know how to get that. Um, the update message to disappear which there are a couple ways to do it you can disable the update message disable all the updates um, of course you could also just go ahead and update uh, your Xbox if you feel comfortable to do so so we're just waiting for this to finish up here once this is done it's going to prompt me uh, it's going to ask me whether I want to uh, install the update or not basically to proceed with the install I hope this gives some updates to um, like the uh, trainers but I don't you know I don't know that it does okay the updates extracting shouldn't take too long And uh, of course, this is on the Aurora Dash on an RGH uh, Xbox, in case you're wondering. Uh, so you see, I got the message popped up, update already. The updater has successfully downloaded. What would you like to do? I'm going to choose to update. So I'm going to press A. And now we see it's going to load up the Aurora updater uh, application, the, that utility will load up so we're going to wait on that any moment now there we go all right update ready to install it says updating aurora if i want to proceed with the update i need to press a i uh, will do so now All right, we got installation complete, so I'm going to press A to exit. 
And we'll wait for Aurora Dash to load up again. And check the version and everything. It's thinking about it. Aurora always takes his sweet time. All right, there we go. Definitely pulled all my settings down if it did update. Okay. <coughs> Welcome to Aurora. All right, now we're back. I'm going, I'm going to press the start button. But already I'm not seeing an update message. No prompt. And under updates, yep, showing I am on uh, 1655 under the binary section. Uh, with no new updates available. And that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions on that, uh, feel free to, you know, post a comment down there. I'll try to answer those, you know, as quickly as I possibly can. All right. I'm out of here. See you guys. Bye.